I'm author Heather L. Montgomery, and today I've come to you to share a book. The book I'm going to share today is Bugs Don't Hug, Six-Legged Parents and Their Kids. Now, before we get going, I want to talk a little bit about what I do when I pull a book off the shelf. I get curious, right? I start to wonder things. And I like to share my questions. Now, sometimes I can share them with somebody who's there beside me, and maybe we're going to read the book together. Or sometimes there's no one with me. So I might share them with my dog, Piper, or my kitty cat, Annie. But I have another idea. Because I read a book by an author named Jody Wheeler Topin. And it said, the title of the book was, This is a Book to Read with a Worm. I thought, oh my goodness. This is a book to read with a bug. So what about if you and I go get bugs to read with? Because that would be fun. Let's put the, put the video on pause and you can go and find a bug. It could be a picture of a bug. It could be a fake bug. Or it could be a real bug. I bet you can find one somewhere in a corner, in the basement, in the attic on the front porch at a light, on a sidewalk. There are bugs everywhere. Let's do that. Put it on pause. Go find a bug. Go. All right, I've been out and I went and caught a bug. It's such a cutie. It's right here. We'll take a look at it. Now the fun of having a bug is you get to watch it, right? And you get to explore and see all the cool things about it. But when you're reading a book, there's an extra fun thing. You can ask your questions to the bug, right? And it's fun. So when I pull this book off the shelf, I might be asking questions like, um, where are they? Like, look at these plants that they're. And I might wonder, why are those guys little and that one big? And why are they different colors? And I mean, if you read the title, Bugs Don't Hug Six-Legged Parents and Their Kids, that brings up a lot of questions like, six-legged parents? Mostly we don't think about those. We think of two-legged parents, right? People with two legs. What is a book talking about if it's talking about six-legged animals? An insect, you're right. Now, I want you to practice asking questions. What are you curious about with this book? I want you to turn and talk to your friend. Ready? I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Go! hope you had some good ones because they get me curious. They get me excited to read the book. Now, my little friend and I here, we are going to read together. You ready? Bugs don't hug. Look at that. The bugs in a crib. That's kind of silly. Makes me wonder if the whole book is going to be silly. Bugs aren't like us. Mommy and Daddy Bugs don't give good morning kisses. They don't tie shoes or untangle hair. And Bugs don't hug. It says, rise and shine, my little bug. This is silly, right? But it's fun. For breakfast, Mommy Bugs don't serve scrambled eggs and toast. I like mine runny. Yum, yum. Of course they don't serve scrambled eggs and toast. We all know that. But baby crickets do get eggs to eat. A mother short-tailed cricket lays extra tiny eggs. Once her babies hatch, the special eggs will be her little one's first breakfast. Wow. What questions do you have about that? Turn to talk to your friend. Go.
turn the page. Daddy bugs don't clean up dirty diapers. P U. <laughs> but ambrosia beetle babies do get help cleaning up their poo. A father ambrosia beetle cleans the hallway of his family's tree tunnel home. With his hind legs, he pushes his baby's poop and kicks it out the door. Wow, look at that right there. He's kicking it out the door. Something you might start to notice is I think there's a pattern in this book. Pay attention. See if you can figure it out. It says, bugs, don't play peekaboo. But tortoise beetle babies do get to hide. What? A mother tortoise beetle hides her young under her speckled shell. It covers them like an armored skirt. You've probably seen some little ones, some little people hiding underneath their mom's skirt. Isn't that funny how similar that is? Another thing that's kind of fun is that in nonfiction books, in the back, sometimes you get extra cool information. Like, I want to know more about the tortoise beetle, so I'm going to turn to the back of this book. And in this part, they call back matter. In the back matter, the tortoise beetle says, the information says, the mother uses her body like a bulldozer to shove away a scary wasp or ant. Her young? help out too. They wave bits of poop in the air to scare the predator away. Well, that makes me want to look back at the picture. And looky there. You see those little dark dots? I think those must all be poop. Can you imagine protecting yourself with poop? Ooh, gross. At lunchtime, Bugs don't plead with picky eaters. I bet none of you guys are picky eaters, right? They don't plead. But shield bug babies do demand the perfect piece of fruit. A parental shield bug searches long and hard for her baby's favorite food. Her picky little eaters will eat in only one kind of fruit, and it must be right. Have you noticed what the pattern is in this book? Let me read the beginning of the next one. At nap time, bugs don't cradle little ones. Now, if you've been paying attention, you might be able to predict what's going to be on the next page. Turn and talk to your bug or your friend or the screen. What do you think is going to be on the next page? Go. At nap time, bugs don't cradle little ones, but baby arctic bumblebees do snooze in snuggly spots, huh? It says a mother arctic bumblebee presses her warm belly against her baby's bedroom. The heat she shares keeps her young cozy even in the bitter arctic cold. Wow, it's really cold up in the arctic. That's a great advantage. Bugs don't bake birthday cakes. Of course they don't. You know what's coming next. But dung beetle babies do get cake. A mother rainbow dung beetle makes a cake of pig poop. Then she lays an egg inside. Later, her baby eats his way out. Can you imagine? Oh, how gross. But it might not be so bad if you were in a room full of your favorite food, and I guess that's their favorite food. Wait, what would you pick if you had to live inside of a room made of food and you got to eat your way out? What kind of food? Turn and talk now. I think I might pick chocolate ice cream, but it would melt probably, and then I wouldn't be able to eat it all. So maybe pizza. That would be great.
Back to the book. For dinner, bugs don't make soup. He says, spit soup for supper. Wait, bugs don't make soup, right? But hang on, burying beetles do. A mother and a father burying beetle carve a bowl-shaped hole in mouse meat. Their spit turns the meat into a soupy meal for their little ones. Bugs don't tuck their babies in. Night, night. Wait, best beetles really do, huh? A baby best beetle hollows out of bed in a rotten log. Her mother and father cover her with a blanket of shavings, tucking her in tight. But really, bugs don't hug. Or do they? What do you think? Mommy pill roach does. A mother pill roach holds her babies on her belly. If, draw, if danger draws near, she curls up to hug them close. And then, look what happens here. Bugs are like us. Sleep tight, my little love bug. <laughs> Wow, what an idea that bugs are like us. Turn and talk to your friend. Do you think bugs are like us? Go.